Hi guys, it's me, Matt, the Magman, wearing my hat, chilling out in my mag laboratory. Um, today I'm going to talk about reptile. Obviously, I've made a lovely little reptile here, but not that reptile. It'll be a different, slightly different reptile. I mean, this reptile, this is like a, a gecko, a cold-blooded animal that lays eggs. So I've been told that's what a reptile is. But in mass, a reptile means something else. I'm going to show you. This is kind of cool. So, I've got here, I'm going to wait for uh, my lovely cameraman. Beautiful high angle, excellent. So, um, I've got some shapes here, uh, some of my favourite shapes. Of course, I have the equilateral triangle, a gorgeous symmetrical shape. We have the square, which is uh, everyone's favourite shape, isn't it? Uh, oh, yes, a rectangle that looks like that. We have an isosceles triangle. That is one of my all-time favourites, literally the king of pointiness. We have a rhombus. This is sometimes called a diamond. You're absolutely correct to call it a diamond. But its proper name is a rhombus. And lastly, all the way to the other side of my table, we have the trapezoid or trapezoid, depending on how you're going to pronounce it. So, every single one of these shapes um, can be made into a reptile, which is super cool. Now, what is a reptile, I hear you think? A reptile is a single shape that, by using four of the same shape, becomes the same shape again. Four of the same shape. So one, two, three, four equilateral triangles becomes a really big equilateral triangle. One, two, three, four squares becomes a really big square. Four rectangles becomes a big rectangle. Well, on, let's do the one with the isosceles as well. Uh, four isosceles triangles Ooh, becomes a super big isosceles triangle. Four rhombus. One, two, three, four rhombus becomes an extra big rhombus. And of course, four trapezoids. I'll try and do this one over here. One, two, three, four. Oh, yeah. Four rhombus become. And it, oh, sorry, four trapezoid become an extra big trapezoid. These are known as reptiles, and they're kind of used in, in various interesting patterns and how shapes fit together. Now, here's an interesting challenge, because whereas using four of the same shape, it's called a, uh, a reptile, we can do a similar figure, uh, which is using different shapes. For example, if I wanted to make a hexagon, it's a hexagon, six-sided shape, I could make that with, well, I could use three of my shapes here. I could do it using one trapezoid, one rhombus, and one equilateral triangle. I'll show you. I've got one trapezoid, one rhombus, and one equilateral triangle, and I end up with a hexagon. There are loads of these. Your mission, should you choose to accept it, is to find out how many different uh, reptiles and how many different similar figures you can make. How many different ways can you build a big equilateral triangle using different shapes? Sounds fun? It is fun. Pretty cool. So uh, there we are. That is a brief introduction into <laughs> reptiles. Not that type, the other type. And similar figures. There we are, guys. That's me uh, signing off for today. Um, keep building, as always. Wash your hands. And uh, I'll see you guys really soon. Ta-da!